hi guys welcome back to my channel are you ready for this tutorial so i'll be showing us how you can cut this style to suit your own measurement not just some random measurement okay how to suit your own measurement i'll be needing like three yards of crepe to make this style so first thing first is how to take the measurement okay now you can see that this style one side has a it's, it's asymmetric in nature while the other side has an extension okay has an extension towards this um towards your what i call it your hands okay so the first thing you want to do is to measure your hip circumference measurement okay so mine is 42 so half of that will be 21 it means that from one side of my dress to the other side is going to be 21 inches then i'll now measure how much i want to extend the dress you know by the sleeve length so you can do a long sleeve you can do a three quarters you can do whatever so i'm just doing about 12 inches i don't want the sleeve to be too long i don't want the extension to be too long okay so if i'm doing 14 inches for the length of sleeve then plus 21 that's about 35 inches for me so you have to calculate your own hip circumference you know find half of it and add it to the length on the sleeve you want to work with so this is crepe okay so what i will do right now i will measure half of my hip circumference plus 14 inches the 14 inches is for my sleeve extension or length of my sleeve okay then i'll just add probably um two or three inches for my side seam allowance okay okay so if you want your own sleeve to be long i can make it longer okay so that's about 37 or 13 inches okay long now i'll fold my fabric 38 inches in two places okay so you fold that measurement in two places okay one will serve for the front and the other for the back so i'll have 37 inches in two places so i'm not saying you should use 37 my own measurements i up to 37 okay so now i'll go ahead and fold it on the table now my table here, I've already folded it at seven or at seven inches in two places on the table. You can see that. So this is the my top and the lower part of the dress. Okay. So now I'll focus the camera to the top part. Okay. This will be my shoulder line. Okay. And um, I'm not starting from the edge of the fabric because i need to add um seam allowance okay so i hope we can see so i've drawn a line here this is my shoulder line it's feel like a one inch away from the edge of the fabric then from that point to this point is cut out my hip then from there to this point is my sleeve length okay okay so then the length of my dress all the way down now next thing now is i first of all marked one inch away this will serve as my side seam allowance. Okay. Then from that point, I marked half of my hip circumference, which is 21. I told you my hip is 42. Okay. So from that point to this point is half of my hip circumference. Okay. That's for regular dress. Then from here is the extension for my sleeve, which is just on one side of the dress. Right. Then um, next thing is... Um, I want to get my center front, so I'll fold the fabric, remove the one in for the side seam, and fold it like that, and create a notch. So this will be the center of my dress, okay? There. So this is my center front. You can see that. Then from my center front, I want to mark half of my across back or my shoulder measurements. My across back or shoulder measurement is fourteen, so half of that is seven on both sides okay so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to like create um a frame for a regular dress before we start doing the extensions right okay so i hope we understand up to that point now i want to mark my neck width okay from the center front and i'm marking from the white line i don't want to mark from the edge of the fabric because of seam allowance okay so um my neck width because it's very close to my neckline i've doing three inches for my neck width i'll mark three inches okay there then um 
on this other side here which is going to be where the off shoulder will be i'll come down from the shoulder line with about five or six inches depending on how much i want the dress to be off okay but i did um six inches okay i came down my six inches so this is the part that will be the asymmetric part or the off shoulder part okay so now i'm going to use my ruler to link um the neckline okay now before i do that let me quickly create the regular armhole so that some people don't get confused if you are sewing a regular dress or regular bodies okay with shoulder it will have armhole right so let me just quickly draw that so that we don't get confused so this is our regular armhole for our regular dress okay and i came down by what six so that is a part that white part i marked very close to the curve is um let me just show us again this is you can see the six inches mark yeah so i'll use my ruler to link the neckline the three inches mark i marked to that part i'll link it so this way i have an asymmetric neckline but that's not all you need to be sure that the dress doesn't choke your neck so how do you know that what you do is you measure from um the shoulder line that's on the center front you measure it down anything less than three inches is going to choke your neck so you can see that we have about two inches you can see where the, the line meets so i still have to come down with about three inches at that point if i don't do this dress is going to choke me right so i'll just use um I can do freehand with my hand, but I prefer to use my curve. Okay, this is modern day times. Use your curve when necessary, use your ruler when necessary. Stop using your hands to draw lines. Okay, so now I'm just drawing this for us to see, but I'll still use my pattern master to draw a more defined curve, right? So, yeah, so um, I've used my pattern master to define the curve more. So this way, it won't choke my neckline, right? So now I'm going to cut out here and I'll add my half inch seam allowance to the armhole, to the asymmetric part of my neckline, and I'll trim it all the way to the shoulder line, okay? So you know what? I'm just still dealing with one part of the dress, okay? So now I would just pin so that my fabric is not moving up and down. And do not forget, we're cutting front and back together. This is crepe. You need to cut it together, okay? And pin. Now, coming to this other side of the dress, okay? So, this is um, my sleeve extension. So, I'll just come down by one inch from my shoulder line and create a shoulder slant, okay? To the neckline. I'll use a longer ruler to connect it. My pattern master is a bit short. So I'll just link this to um, the shoulder, the neckline there. Then do not forget to add half inch seam allowance. Okay guys, so let me use this opportunity. Please make sure you share this video. And if you are new to this channel, subscribe to um, this channel for more tutorials. Now I'm just cutting and I'm adding half inch seam allowance to that. Okay, so we're almost done with the cutting part of this tutorial. So like I said, always work with your pins so that your pieces align. Now, the last part of the cutting will now be um, this other side. Yeah, there has to be a demarcation between the sleeve and the bodies, okay? So, uh, from the shoulder line, I'll come down by probably, say, 11 inches because the sleeve is cut together with the dress. So, you need enough allowance. So, I'll just come down by 11 inches. Then, I'll trim in about one and a half inch in. And then, I'll curve all the way down. Now, in order for my side to be um, straight, what I'll do is I'm going to measure 1.5 inch with my chalk. I'll draw a straight line. Okay, as you can see from the picture here. So, I'll just cut it out. 
Okay, guys, we'll go straight to the cutting of the face, and I'm sorry I skipped out the parts where I cut out the sides in on the other side. Sorry about that. So this is my dress. This is um the neckline. I'll follow the fabric under the dress. Now I want to cut out my facing. So to cut out the facing, I'm just tracing out the neckline, starting from the armhole. Okay. And then um, I'll just come in a few inches away from the neckline there. Okay. So let me just make a mark because the facing doesn't need to get to the end of the sleeve. It's not necessary. Okay. So I'm taking out my pins and I will just cut out. The most important thing is I have traced out the neckline. You know, your facing is like your lining. It's just shorter. That's all. So this is my facing here. And I have two pieces. One for the front and one for the back. So we're done with everything that has to do with cutting. So next step now is I'm going to pin the facing to each piece of the dress front separate back separate okay so now i'll just take out my pins okay i'll take out my pins and i'm going to pin um the face into each of the pieces of the dress so you can see i have two facings i also have two pieces front and back I'm going, you know, I'm going to wise again so that I don't get confused. Now I would place my facing, right side of the facing, face um on top of the right side of the dress. Okay, make sure you pin. It's very important. Okay, so I'll just pin this, and I'll also pin the other side, and then um. I will sew the whole of the neckline with half inch seam allowance. I won't touch the armhole yet, just the neckline. Okay, so this is the facing for the second um, piece of the dress. I'll also go ahead and sew with half inch seam allowance, just the neckline. I won't touch the armhole yet. Okay, so let me just go ahead to my sewing machine. Let me sew it and show us what to do next it's a very simple tutorial trust me even if you're a beginner it's something you can just you know do very quickly it doesn't take time okay i'll just go ahead and sew now and i'll show us the outcome half inch similar ones just the neckline like i said so after sewing this is what you're going to have you can see that i turned only the neckline i didn't touch the armhole <laughs> Then one more tip, make sure you stitch down the seam allowance to the facing. That way it helps to keep the facing in place and it's not folding out. Okay. So once you've turned the two neckline, you're going to make two long ropes. The length of the rope depends on you. Okay. But this one is just I think about 30 or 40 inches there about. So you're going to make two long groups. They're going to serve as your belt. Okay, so you place the right side of the belt. You can see that the part that has joining is one that is facing up. So that after sewing, it will face in. Okay, so I'll just place um, my rope like so. And I will pin. Pinning saves you a lot of time from, you know, because by the time you make mistakes when sewing, you have to start using your same repair, you damage the fabric. So, pin saves you a lot of time. So, now I'll just go ahead now. I'll trim off the excess because the armhole is not straight, it's curved. So, um, the rope has to blend with the armhole. I'm just trimming out the excess there. Yeah. So, once I do that, I'll use the facing to turn um the armhole where i have the belt okay or the rope whatever you want to call it okay i'm just done with half inch seam allowance yeah now i'm done turning both sides this is one and this is the second part of the dress so now i'm going to place right side on um right side of the front facing right side of the back meanwhile back and front are the same thing okay 
can just place it like so i'll go ahead and sew um my side seam before you do that you want to arrange everything and make sure everything aligns and use your pins right so you turn um the shoulder with half inch side seam allowance is one inch all the way down and give it a good press okay so here you can see how neat my seams are because i press every step of the way i don't wait till i finish sewing before i iron now i'll go ahead and do a roll them for this slit opening here half inch twice and then i'll my side seam will be one inch seam allowance all the way down and i also do a roll them for the hemline now this is the final outcome of the dress like i'm just feeling myself it's so so beautiful and this dress can suit anybody whether you're slim you're big anybody just use your correct measurement so i hope you learned something from this tutorial if you did kindly give it a thumbs up feel free to share like and do not forget to subscribe if you're a new person on our channel Thank you so much for watching.